What's up, brother fam? Welcome back to a brand new whip review. I am at Audi with the Chapo, and today I have with me the 2023 Audi Q5. In this review, I'm gonna tell you the top five things that you need to know about this car right here. But before we get started, so if you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button right now so you don't miss out on any other video that I'll post in the future. And also, I have plenty of other reviews on the channel that you can enjoy. And if you are part of the fam already, thank you so much for your support. All right, now without further ado, let's get in the review. Let's ride. So this is a 2023 Audi Q5. So let's take a quick walk around it and starting with the front as usual. So this color right here, you might think that this is the Glacier White Metallic as usual, but this one is another Greek name or Latin. I'm not sure which language it is, but this one is called the Ibis White or Ibis White. I'm not sure how to say exactly. Audi been having those Greek names like Mitos or Mitos and they have Kronos and this one is Ibis or Ibis. I'm not sure exactly how to say it, but when you buy this car, you can call it however you want it's your car all right so you can see this eye right here so it has a fully led headlights in it and you do have daytime running light and dynamic turn signal let me show that real quick and there you go all right so going lower you have this cut right here to the side and it's very looking very sporty and it also has this radar right here for the safety feature and also you do have a parking sensor right there as well so going to the middle right here in the center so you have this matte silver lip looking very sporty and also you have this space right here that will feed air to the radiator and right on top of it you have the audi single frame grill so this is the audi octagonal single frame grill that you have here and around it you have the matte silver as well to complement this one right here and you have chrome rings on top of it but the grill overall is all black so that's perfect right here so it, I think I think it's a great matchup and it's very wide it's gonna fit air to the radiator to cool off everything cool off the engine so it's very very functional here so very nice all right so this is what you have to the front and right on top of the hood you can see all those character lines starting from the front and they follow all around the car so this is amazing right there so let's keep going to the side so right here you have 20 inch wheels on this car they are absolutely massive typically the car would come with 19 inches but this one right here you got 20 all right and the rims are looking very nice as well so right here you have s-line badge and you can see here that the mirror cap is the same body color and you have chrome around the windows and you do have this matte silver rack on top where you can place a roof rack if you need extra storage or if you want to carry bikes, skis, whatever you want to carry on top of the car. So at the bottom of the door, you can see this matte silver seal, which is also a skirt, look, making the side profile of the car look even sportier. So you can see the side profile of the car is absolutely gorgeous. And you have those body lines from the front all the way to the back fender, looking very sharp. So the Audi design language is always sharp with, with its details. And all the creases, everything is always like very sharp. Besides the H1 GT, that's a bit curvy, but every single other car they're like very sharp lines on them very very nice all right so now let's keep going to the back so the roof ends with a roof spoiler right here so you can see it. it's gonna help the car with aerodynamics big time and also inside it, this is where the brake light is so going lower you have this chrome rings right here and you have this matte silver bar that covers the entire back and all the way to the light so you have fully led tail lights on the car there we go with dynamic turn signal and you have the Q5 badge here and then Quattro badge on this side. So going lower, so you have two reflectors, one on each side and inside the reflector, this is where the reverse light is. So a little bit lower, you do have the parking sensors right here and you have this matte silver seal that's right on top of the diffuser and you have this black sporty diffuser at the bottom. 
So you can see the tip right here, it's not a functional exhaust. So the actual exhaust is behind and facing the ground. So this is what you have here on the Q5 at the back. I think the back looks absolutely gorgeous and those lights, they are just amazing. So the technology that goes into the Q5 light is just something else. All right, so now let's keep going to the side. So now, when it comes to dimensions, so this car is 184 inches long, 74 inches wide, and 65 inches tall. So with this height, you can already tell that you're gonna have great headroom at the back, and in front, you don't, there's no complaint about that. I can already tell that for sure. So now, to get inside the car, you gotta place your hand behind the handle. There you go. So you have the keyless entry on all four doors, so with your key in your pocket like I have it right now, you can just unlock the car just placing your hand behind the handle. So now, when you're outside with your key still in your pocket or tucked away, all you gotta do is type the sensor on the door, that's how you lock the car, so without even touching your key. All right, so now, we're gonna go check out the interior. Okay, now, jumping inside the Q5. So pretty much, everything is as you would expect it inside an Audi, so that's how it is here. So one thing that I'm not used to see all the time is this wood with the gloss finish on it. So usually it's a piece of metal or it's carbon fiber, or it can be some sub type of exposed wood. All those wood finish, they're kind of like rare in a way. So this one right here, this gloss wood finish, I'm not used to seeing it, but it's absolutely gorgeous inside the car. And it's a different type of luxury that you would get inside this one right here. All right, so other than that, everything else is constant, so you do have all your leather items in here so you can see like those comfort seats with the stitching on it so these are sport inspired seats they are not actually sport seats so they are comfort seats but sport inspired all right and you can see all the stitching on it so attention to detail is great inside the car all right so you do have those matte silver piece and bits and pieces inside the car as well following along the dash surrounding the virtual cockpit so it's all there the buttons are matte silver as well so this is great so you do have the screen here for the MMI, you have the climate control buttons right here, virtual cockpit as I mentioned. So you have this all leather steering wheel with heated function in it. And then one cool thing is that you do have the this logo right here, it just represents the, the Audi single frame grille up front. So I like that consistency inside the car as well. So leather shift knob, you do have this uh, leather armrest with some storage underneath it. So this is one of the Audis that has like the biggest amount of storage, that's for sure. So I do have a lot of storage here. All right, so you do have two um, cup holders right here. You have some space here. You can place like a pen or something or a key. You have extra storage right there as well, 12 volt socket. You do have one USB connectivity here. Start engine button right here. So everything is well laid out in front of you, all right? You do have this nice panoramic sunroof. So it goes all the way to the back. It doesn't stop in the middle, so it would open. So people up front can have a nice view of the sky and people at the back will enjoy the entire thing as well. And on this side right here, uh, ooh, that's a crazy amount of space inside this glove box right here. But whew, wow, that's a lot. And even the door bin is massive as well, so that's perfect. All right, so a lot of space. So the practicality is already amazing up front. So now let's see how it is at the back. All right, so now let's see how it is at the back here. Okay, so as I was saying before, this is no surprise. With the, with the size that you have with this car, the space is not an issue inside the Q5. And this is one of the number one sold SUV, Audi SUV in the US, all right? And I'm pretty sure around the world. So people love th those type of SUVs. Audis, they love the Q3, they love the Q5. Those cars are so practical. It's, it's just, it's just perfect. They nailed, they nailed this car right here. Perfect SUV that you can have. Uh, but I do love the Q8 as well. But here, this is all you can get. If your budget allows it, that's what you can get right here. All right, so all the space, I don't even talk about leg room, knee room, anything like that. Headroom, no concern at all. So you're sitting comfortably at the back. And you do have the same comfort seats at the back. And one cool thing you have is that you can move it back and forth to create extra space either for your knees or if you want more items in the back, you can just move it forward and you, that will create more space at the back. So that's perfect. So those two, center and left, they move together and the right side moves independently. So that's a cool thing that you have right here. All right, so same material that you get in the door up front, you have it here. And in the center right here, 
you do have this climate control so you can change the temperature at the back independently so you have three zone climate control in the car so you have two fans right here or two vents should i say and then you have two usb connectivity or two usb ports at the bottom here for charging and you do have the old school one the 12 volt socket of course it's still there so this is what you have here at the back and one thing that they did is that they fit the led lights right here so they have one here and they have another one here if you need to uh do some reading at the back or if you're trying to find something so the light is there as well even though you do so the reason they have it here is because you do have this panoramic sunroof so they cannot place it right there it's usually on top of you but here it's still conveniently placed as well all right so now let's see how it is in the trunk okay so now let's see how it's looking at the back so just pop this open real quick and you can stop it at any time using the button right here on the hatch so you have a hatch back at the back of this car right here so you can see how massive this space so everything is just like right in front of you it's in your face right here so you have great accessibility at the back of this car so no struggle to pl place any items in there no struggle to pick up anything at the back of the car because you have this hatchback so you get all this practicality here the convenience of the hatchback is just amazing all right and as i show you, you have this button right here to put it up and down and to stop it when you get enough space so it's amazing the amount of space that you get here Whew. i don't want to do the human body test as i usually do it but it's a lot of space and the dimension of the back is going to show here right now there we go so that's how big it is here and one concern that i have here is this bit of plastic right here it's a hard plastic so when you're pulling out luggages out the back, it's gonna scratch it for sure over time. But it's, even though it's solid, but I prefer um, the piece of metal that they have here instead of this. So on the A5, you can see it. On many other models, you will get a piece of metal instead of the hard plastic. But this one is still resistant, but over time it will get scratched, that's for sure. All right, so now once you're done, all you gotta do is press the button and then you're gonna bring the back, back down, that's it. All right, it's all automatic. You don't have to do any effort whatsoever. Unless your finger is sore, then, well, you're not gonna close it. Or you got 10 of them, use a different one. All right, so now let's go up front to talk about the MMI system. All right, now back in the driver's seat. Okay, so now let's talk about the MMI system real quick. So typically in all Audis, you would get the Audi fun box underneath the armrest. But for some reason, this car doesn't have it. They forgot to put it or something. I'm not sure what they did. Even though this car is a premium plus, it's supposed to have it. But this one doesn't have it. All you get here is storage, two cup holders. And then you do have a USB-C connectivity here for faster charging and also better connection to the MMI system. But the Audi fun box typically comes with a, a, a wireless charger. It's a pad in there a wireless charger for your phone, and when your phone is inside the box, you would get better signal because it is a signal booster using the antenna of the car. But this one doesn't have it, all right? So just make sure, if you're buying a Q5 or any Audi for that matter, just make sure it has everything that you want in it, all right? So now, here, the volume knob is literally at my fingertip right here, so I can reach it conveniently when I, I know where it is when I'm driving, just reach it, put my volume up and down. So one extra functionality that it has is that you can switch track with it. So if you push it to the right, you can go to the next track. So if you push it to the left once, you can just replay the song that you're on. If you push it twice, you can just go to the previous track. All right, so that's what, it's a very, very cool button right there. So right here, in the center right here of the dashboard, you do have those buttons for the climate control. So a lot of driver thinks that this is still convenient compared to the torch screen that you get in an A6 or A7 in other models. So they think this is convenient because they know where the button is when they're driving they can just reach it and change the temperature or fan speed whatever uh, without even being distracted by looking at a uh, torch screen or anything like that so they know where it is so that's what you have here in the center so the climate control all right right above it you do have this 10.1 inch screen so this is the mmi system right here it's a torch screen very responsive and also it's user friendly those icons are so big that you're not going to click on something else that you didn't want to click on all right, so when you click on something, you can hear a click and a haptic feedback like on your phone. And then also one thing I like to do is go to Audi Drive Select and look at the render of the car. So I really enjoy that. So now on the other side here, on the driver's side, you have the Audi Virtual Cockpit Plus. This is a refreshed version 2023. It's just looking amazing. So it stays crisp, HD, crystal clear, 
So the sun is in my eye right now. I don't have to squint to see anything. Everything is just so clear. So now they change the design. So usually you would get like um, two circles with a digit inside of it and things like that. So this is done right now. So you, they just give you two bars, one for the uh, speed and one for the RPMs. So this is what you get here. Everything is digital on the screen right here. They're done with the circles, with, with the analog stuff. It's done. All right, so you do have two views. So a bigger one will make the map even bigger, fill up the entire screen. And then you do have all details about the car here. You can see your media. If you're using Apple CarPlay, you'll see your music. You can connect your phone to the car's Bluetooth and make phone calls from here. Uh, and also you do have the uh, navigation, as I mentioned before. And you do have two views, a bigger one and a smaller one. All right. Everything is literally well laid out here in this screen. All right. So that's perfect right here. And at last, you do have the Bang & Olufsen sound system in the car that's going to give you premium sound. So you have the Bang & Olufsen sound system with the 3D sound effect. It sounds just like a concert. So you have about 19 speakers in this car. So you have one here on the pillar, two on the pillar. You have one here up front, one in the middle, another one here. Same thing. It's symmetrical. So you have seven speakers up front alone. All right. On the door, you have two. One and two. Same thing on this side. So that's four. That's already 11 speakers. And you do have a subwoofer in the car. That's going to give you better bass inside the car. So it's just amazing. Great sound system. All right. So now let's go up front to talk about the engine. All right. So now let's see how it's looking underneath the bonnet. Let's pop it open real quick. There we go. All right. It's looking very new, very fresh underneath here. All right, so this car right here, it is powered by a 2-liter i4 engine that can produce around 261 horsepower with 273 pound-feet of torque. So since about 2020, 2021, they started beefing up the power output inside this car. So before, there used to be about 248 horsepower and less, but starting the couple years back, they started increasing the power output in this car, and that's very cool. And nowadays, people like fast cars. So that's, give you, that's enough power for you right there. And if you need even more, all you got to do is go to the SQ5 and you will get about over 300 horsepower in the car. But this one is perfect right here and the fuel economy is going to be great with that engine as well. So now I just judge that this car can go from 0 to 60 in about 5.5 seconds or more. So depending on the condition and Audi is usually conservative with the numbers. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if you can get less with it. So that's what you have here. So this engine is controlled by a seven speed automatic gearbox and you do have about six modes in it. So you have off-road, you have all-road, you have auto, dynamic, comfort, and individual in this car. So all these are the drive modes that you get. All right, so the fuel efficiency in this car is about 22 miles per gallon in the city and 29 on the highway. All right, so now let's see how the Q5 drives. All right, right now, let's see what the Q5 is like to drive. So I am kicking off in comfort mode. So as the mode says it, the car is going to ride comfortably. So the steering wheel is very light. The engine is just relaxing. So the power is there, but it's acting like it's not there. So to get some, to get the car going, just got to put your foot on the throttle. And then the engine is going to take like a, a second and be like, oh, it needs power. And then the car is going to start running. But other than that, everything is just comfortable. The car is loose. The suspension is sucking up the bumps. The, the ride is smooth. So that's how it is on comfort mode, as the mode says it. And you have those clouds that I'm sitting on, those comfort seats. So I can drive this car like for hours and hours, no issue whatsoever. So I'm going around this roundabout right now. And one thing you need to know is that you have the Quattro all-wheel drive system in the car. That's going to keep the car grounded at all times. So this is why Audi is good with uh, wet surfaces. So this system is so efficient. It can send up to 50% of the power to the back wheels. It can send power to the wheel that is the most in some situation. For example, in muddy situation, um, off-roading, um, for example, if you're in a wet surface. So Audi, you cannot catch an Audi on a wet surface, that's for sure. And I always trust my Audis when it comes to like rainy situation, those things, I don't worry about them. But still being cautious altogether. But this is what you have here. So now I'm going to put it on dynamic mode real quick. And dynamic. All right. Here we go. Safe to go. Let's see how the... Okay. Oh, yeah. A bit much more response. So that's the big difference there. So when you're on comfort mode, the car is just chilling. When you're in dynamic mode, so the car is ready to go. So it becomes very sharp. So everything, the steering wheel just becomes like heavier. 
and more accurate pretty much and then the suspensions they will stiffen up as well to make the car very sporty so now with all this um, you get a lot a lot of power in the car 261 horsepower so it goes fairly quick um, with this power you do have a lot of safety features in the car you do have the blind spot assist on both mirrors that's going to illuminate when you have something in your blind spot you have the lane keeping assist that's going to keep the car in between the lines or in in your lane so that you're not swerving left to right when you have other people next to you and even if you don't have people next to you it's still going to do its job so that's how it is and you do have the um, adaptive cruise control with distancing so you can set a, a distance between you and the car up front so the car is going to accelerate and decelerate according to that distance when you have when you're in traffic for example or when you're just cruising on the highway all right so that's what you have here and then you do have all the sensors in the car for parking and you do have the parking system plus here the parking aid and you do have top view camera you have all around camera so you have front side and back camera so you have you can see every single corner of the car no issue so if you hit it that's totally on you and your insurance should ask you a lot of questions i'm just saying all right so that's how it is and you do have your all your airbags in the car that's for sure and you do have the audi presence that's gonna help you um, stop the car um, when you're about to impact something at high speed so if you're about to impact a wall or something a car in front of you the car is gonna break as uh, as hard as it can to help stop the car so that's a very good feature in the car so a lot of safety features um, for a very powerful car a big car like this not too big it's a mid-size SUV but still a decent um, um, proportion on the car so that's all you get inside the Q5 it's th it drives very smooth and I think it's totally um, it speaks for itself so a lot of people just love this car and that's how it is all right Rider fam thank you so much for watching this review about the 2023 Audi Q5 so this car starts right around fifty seven thousand dollars and it's available at Audi Western Chapel so if you need to get your hands on this car right here and any other car for that matter Feel free to contact Audi Western Chapel and ask for Nasser. Ask for Nasser at Audi Western Chapel. It's going to help you out wherever you are in the country. All right, so now if you enjoyed this review, feel free to give me a big thumbs up. And if you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any other video that I'll post in the future. And if you're already part of the fam, once again, thank you so much for your support. All right, now until we meet again, let's keep riding.